four year layoff for GSP. He sure looked good tonight. What did you take away from this evening? All the critics were right. They said George St. Pierre wouldn't be as fast as he used to be. He wasn't. They said George St. Pierre wouldn't be a wrestle like he used to. He didn't. They said George St. Pierre would give up muscle against Michael Bisping. He did. What everybody learned is the gap between George St. Pierre as a mixed martial artist and the rest of the world is too big for anybody else to close. That is the greatest fighter we've ever seen. We knew that four years ago, but people have short-term memories. They were reminded of it tonight. You said the greatest fighter we've ever seen. You're talking about in the history of the sport, any division? Any division. You listen, there's only a debate between two guys. Is it John Jones or is it GSP? One of them broke all of the rules, and one of them won two divisions in two different weight classes. Man, that closes the book. Chael, um, what's next? We talked with Gilbert a little bit about what's next. Gilbert said there's a possibility uh, that GSP might drop down to 155. He fought at 185 tonight. Do you think that's viable? What do you think is next for him? I can tell you to support Gilbert's claim, the first one to start that rumor was George St. Pierre. Before he ever came back, he said, you know what, I'm a little bit smaller, I might go down to 155. Then all of a sudden he liked the matchup with Bisping and he went up. Now let me give you a little insider baseball. Dana White saw this coming. Dana White thought, you know what, George, you're a little too aggressive to take on the Michael Bisping fight, but I'm not sure I'm going to keep you around for Yoel Romero, for Jacare, for interim champion Robert Whitaker. So instead of doing a standard contract with you, you're going to guarantee me two fights with penalty should you not do it. You're going to fight Bisping, and if you win, you're guaranteeing me now you're going to fight Robert Whitaker. George St. Pierre signed that contract. Now Dana can change his mind, and when, when Gilbert's talking about him going down to 155, he's totally talking about one thing, which is Conor McGregor mm -hmm. in the biggest fight of all time. But I think that that might be a little bit aggressive. If you want to know what I get think, I don't think Dana's going to make the biggest fight of all time. I think he's going to stay with the division, stay with his principles, and I think we're going to see Whitaker, George St. Pierre.